Ladies and gentlemen, good evening to the 11th Challenge the Vendian Trophy Night. Thank you. wonderful trophy. It is a great honor for the city of Berlin to be host for the Challenge venue and uh, we are very proud that you are here and I hope that you have exciting days uh, here in Berlin at this wonderful location. Let's have a look at how many nations we have here. It's an international issue, and as I said, sustainability is an issue that is considering the entire planet. But of course, as this is Berlin, we have about like 488 to fire. In other words, we have to rely on electric engines. We have to rely on biofuels. We have to rely on natural gas. We strongly believe that it's about time to take action because we can say whatever we want. If we don't move now, we will never, never reach the targets that we have in our minds in terms of environment-friendly transportation systems in the future. We really would like for you to leave this day, you know, with this firm conviction that the world is completely changing, new technologies are available, new business models, okay? and a new behavioral, at the same time, evolution that you are going to bring. So are you here, no sounds? It's a pure electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. Feels nice. So we have a good flow. The car has very good handling, balance is very good. to look at some uh, future of uh, automotives and uh, see how the electric power cars uh, move forward and uh, see some good prototypes as well. Yeah. Braking. Oh, okay. Yeah. No? No. So, uh, it's be because it makes sense. I'm very interested in electric driving and things like that. I heard a lot of that in my studies but I never can try out so that's the reason the main reason why I'm here
In 10 years, I see everybody on little mobile pods just riding through the city like that. I really don't see too many cars in the in the near future. I saw the Venturi 1, which is a great car. We can see it on the Challenge B Vendom. And uh, it is a um, very efficient car, um, very smooth, and I would be very happy to, to drive it, yeah. L'explication, on va la garder en tout cas si on en a besoin. Et va venir perforer concrètement notre pneu. Donc là, nous avons une pression de 2 bar 29. Et maintenant, on va pouvoir. pour voir euh, la pression que nous obtenons. 2 bar 28. Inside uh, this standard uh, energy uh, tire, we put a, a specific rubber layer, 2 mm six, to be able uh, to deal uh, with puncture. Uh, with this rubber, we are able to solve puncture with nails like that, for example, 5 mm. We can clearly see that this nail is more longer than the total thickness of the tire. So this is a combination of a small, inexpensive battery with a small, relatively inexpensive range extender based on a fuel cell. And the fuel cell uses uh, a fuel, which is hydrogen. So we have here a quantity of uh, hydrogen, which is going to give us, in total, with the battery and the range extender, a range of around 200 kilometers for something which weighs only 120 kilograms. Once the battery is discharged, you rely on the range extender. That is to say that you use this fuel cell, which is an electricity generator. So, in your car, you start with the battery. When the battery is discharged, then you count on the range extender, which, is, which operates with the hydrogen. This fuel cell is going to recharge at the same time the battery. And so if you need additional power with respect to what the fuel cell is capable of doing you, the battery will give you additional power. So it works wonderfully. We have real challenges which have to be addressed about uh, the necessity to diversify uh, energy. We can't continue with the oil only. We have to reduce energy consumption and go towards much more fuel efficient uh, solutions. Um, so the, the, the challenges are, are real. We need to do something about CO2. That's a real problem. It has, we have to do something about road safety. And we have to make sure that we go towards a more modern um, concept of mobility with the use of uh, telematics, the use of geolocalization uh, tools, um, everything which um, is permitted today uh, thanks to the technology of information transfer. And we have to know that the future is going to be multi-technology. That's a change. And we're not going to move from oil to another solution. We're going to move from oil to oil plus other solutions. And this level of complexity has got to be managed, but I can assure you it is manageable. And she's a 35-year-old middle-aged mother. They live in an apartment and are looking to get an electric vehicle to help improve um, or decrease the emissions that they emit. And this idea can sort of serve as an intermediary step. In the back, that would detect the presence of the children in the vicinity of the car. For kids, a children's bracelet. Um, that the mother could put on them. And then I, uh, I click on the go button and this application